So let's have here the discussion of practice test set B. So for number one, if you stand two meter in front of a plane mirror, how far would you see the image of yourself? So from here, if we have the mirror, and then the distance here is two meters, and so we're gonna have the same distance, which is the image. So it is another two meters, and therefore adding up, it will gonna be four meters. So the answer for number one is letter C. Next, for number two, plane mirror produce image which are always smaller than the actual. No, simply because it produce equal images are always larger than the actual object. No, we are talking about plane mirrors. So it produce equal are always same size as the actual object. Check could be smaller, larger. So the answer here is letter C. Next, how about for number three? A laser beam strike a plane reflecting surface with an angle of 37 degrees. What is the angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray? So for here, so if there is an angle of incidence of 37 degree, So if you're going to have here the diagram, so this is the normal line, which is always perpendicular to the surface. So the incident angle that is 37 degrees, and then here another 37 degrees, and adding them up, that would be 74. And so the angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray, that is letter B, 74 degrees. Next, how about for number 4? How far are you from your image when you stand 0.75 in the front of a vertical mirror? Again, this is the idea. So we have to double it by 2. So if we have here the image that is 0.75, then another image here, so this is the image that is 0 0.75 and times 2, that would be letter B, 1.5. And for number 5, a plane mirror forms an image that is real and upright. No, it produces a virtual image and an upright. Virtual and upright, check. Real and upside down, no. That is actually virtual. And uh, uh, same size or upright, not upside down. Virtual and upside down, no, just check virtual, but it is upright. So the answer here is letter B. Next, for number 6, the angle of incidence must be yes letter a that is must be equal with the angle of reflection for the law of reflection so number six is letter a next how fast do you approach your image when you approach a vertical plane mirror at a speed of two meters per second so here so per one second it travels at two meters right but for a mirror for every one second it travels for around 4 meters, right? Because that is the distance from the image and the mirror. And so therefore, how fast do you approach your image when you approach a vertical plane mirror at a speed of 2 meters per second? That would be letter C, 4 meters per second. Next, number 8. An object is located 2.6 in front of a plane mirror. The image formed by the mirror appears to be so for number 8 here, as we can see, uh, an object is located 2.6 in front of a plane mirror. So the image form that appears, that is 
2.6 behind the mirror simply because that is a virtual image. So for number 8, it's letter D. Next, for number 9, a concave mirror with a radius of 20 cm creates a real image that is uh, 30 cm from the mirror. What is the object's distance? What is the object's distance? Now, so from here, what will be the focus? So remember that the radius is 1 over 20. So the focus here or the focal point will be 10 cm. And so we're going to have a formula which is 1 over F is equals to 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. And so that would become 1 over F minus 1 over DI equals to 1 over DO. And since that is a concave mirror, that is a positive F. And so that is 1 over 10 minus, since that is a real image, that is a positive DI. And so that is 1 over 30 equals to 1 over DO and 1 over 10 minus 1 over 30 that would become 1 over 40 oh wait 1 over 10 minus uh, 1 over 30 I think I got a wrong uh, solution here uh, so let me double check using my calculator that is 1 over 10 minus 1 over 30 that is 1 over 15 and so don't forget to have the reciprocal so DO that would be 15 centimeter and so answer for number 9 that is letter B now how about number 10 when a person stands 40 centimeter in front of a concave mirror direct image is twice as the, of, as twice the size of the object what is the focal length of the mirror so from here, the 40, that is distance of the object. And so if we're going to have the formula, which is HI over HO is equals to negative DI over DO. Now take note that the value of HI, that is twice of the HO, right? That is twice the size of the object. And so therefore, we could have now the formula wherein the HI so if we're going to apply the formula here, which is twice the HO over HO equals to negative DI over the value of DO, which is 80 centimeter. And so I will cancel now this part. And therefore, uh, 2 times 80 centimeter equals to negative di and negative di that is 40 centimeter ah, 2 times 80 ah, wait, wait. 2 times 40 I think I should correct this one 2 times 40 and then uh, 2 times 80 2 times 40 and then that would gonna be 80 centimeter and so take note that the value of di which is negative 80 centimeter now and this is an erect image and that also it will say that it is a virtual image okay and so what is now the focal length of the mirror so the focal length of the mirror we now have the value of the do so we have here the 1 over f is equals to 1 over DO plus 1 over DI and then 1 over F what is 1 over DO that is 1 over uh, 40 plus 1 over negative 80 and that in turns 1 over F that is 1 over 40 minus 1 over 80 
And upon pressing our calculator, that would be 1 over 40 minus 1 over 80. And that would gonna be 1 over 80. And therefore, F is equals to 80 centimeter. And so the value for number 10 is letter C. Now, how about for number 11? For number 11, a person's face is 30 centimeter in front of a concave shaving mirror. If the image is an erect image, that means that it is a virtual. And 1.5 times as large as the object, what is the mirror's focal length? So the magnification is equals to 1.5 times. And remember, what is the formula for magnification? Magnification, that is negative di over do. And so upon applying this formula, we can say that the magnification is 1.5 and that is negative di over the do which is 30 centimeter. And so 30 times 1.5, that would be equal to 45. And so the negative di here, that will equal to 45 centimeter. Now take note that the di is equals to negative 45 centimeter and that is fine. That is a virtual image. <coughs> now what is the mirror's focal length? Again, we're going to apply the same uh, solution here. We're going to have the 1 over f, that is 1 over do plus 1 over di. And that is equivalent to 1 over f, that is 1 over uh, 30 plus 1 over negative 45 and upon uh, solving for that that is 1 over 30 that is minus 1 over 45 and that would gonna be 90 and so here F would gonna be 90 centimeter so the answer here is number 11. Now, the answer for number 11 is D. Next, let's try to identify number 12. An object is placed 15 cm from a concave mirror. So therefore, the distance of the object, that is 15 cm. And then, with a focal length of 20 cm. The object is 4 cm so meaning to say this is the height of the object that is the 4 cm now how the question here is how tall is the image so from here we can compute for the distance of the image that is 1 over f is 1 over do plus 1 over di we can compute first for the di which is 1 over f minus 1 over do. So continuing here, we have uh, 1 over 20 minus 1 over 15 equals to negative, uh, equals to 1 over di. And what is 1 over di? That is 1 over 60. So this one is 1 over 60 and that is 1 over di. Let me just double check using my calculator. 1 over 20 minus 1 over 15. I think that would be negative. Negative 1 over 60. And so the distance of the image is equals to negative 60 centimeter. And this will represent a virtual. Now if you try to look here, concave mirror, focal length of 20, the object is 4 centimeter tall. So the, the object is placed 15 cm from a concave mirror for the focal length of 20 cm. So meaning to say it is inside with the focal length. It is in between the vertex as well as the focal point. And so therefore, it will gonna produce a virtual image. And what is now the magnification here? So how tall is the image, by the way? So remember that we have a formula which is 
hi ho equals to negative di do and then what is the hi that is negative di over ho over the do and the height of the image the negative di would be uh, negative negative 60 times the height of the object which is uh, 4 centimeter and then here we have 15 and so hi that is uh, 60 times 4 divided by 15 and that is 16 times that is 16 centimeter so the answer for number 12 is letter D dog now take note that it's a virtual image and it is an upright and therefore that is positive 16 now for the question number 13 an object is placed 15 centimeter from a concave mirror of focal length of 20 centimeter the object is 4 centimeter tall where it is located now this is just a, this is just the solution for this I think number 12 and number 13 they have the same question so that is 60 centimeter so where it is located uh, 16 uh, 60 centimeter virtually so the answer here is letter C okay next number 14 <clears throat> a spherical mirror has a radius of curvature of 50 centimeter how far from the mirror is the focal point needed so if you could just remember this is the vertex this is the focal point and then twice the focal point is the curvature and therefore if the radius of curvature is 50 centimeter and then there and this one is 25 centimeter 25 centimeter so the answer for number 14 is letter a 25 centimeter next number 15 a light ray traveling parallel to a concave mirror's axis strikes the mirror surface near its midpoint after reflection this is this ray is now for number 15 the answer here is letter d passing through the mirror's focal point so remember that this one is the vertical axis and then a line a light ray traveling parallel to a concave mirror's axis so if for example this is the focal point so if there's a light ray that will gonna be parallel okay so this is parallel with this uh, principal axis it will gonna be reflected back to the reflected passing through the focal point so number 15 it's letter D next number 16 an object is placed between the focal point and the vertex which of these is the characteristics of image form so here we're talking about the the uh, concave mirror and so for number 16 we are talking about the focal point and the vertex so if this will be our diagram so this is the focal point this is the radius of curvature and then we are placing the object here and so therefore what do we expect the characteristics of image here is not a real because the image will be somewhere here that is inverted no that is virtual check and so for number 16 the answer here is letter C okay next let's go now with number 17 a negative mag magnification for a mirror means now for number 17 it means that a negative one would be 
image is inverted however the the mirror may be concave or convex that is for number 17 next how about for number 18 which of the following is an accurate statement number 18 a mirror always forms a real image no it in fact it could be it depends on the mirror so for number 18 uh, a mirror always forms a virtual image no because you have a concave plane and convex mirror a mirror always form i think the answer here is letter e none of the above is true because you have to identify if it is a plain mirror, convex mirror, or a convex uh, or a concave mirror. Next, number nineteen. Sometimes when you look into a curved mirror, you see a magnified image, and sometimes you see a diminished image. If you look at the bottom or the convex side of a shiny spoon, what will you see? Take note that the convex mirror it will gonna show what it will gonna show always a virtual and a smaller image so for number 19 our answer here is letter c you will see a little u because that is a convex right side up okay so for number 19, that would be letter C. Next, number 20. If you stand in a convex mirror at the same distance from it as its radius of the curvature, so meaning to say convex mirror. So remember that the convex mirror same distance from it as a radius of curvature so remember that a convex mirror that is always is smaller and virtual and upright so for number 20 the best answer here is you will see your image and you will appear smaller now for number 21 for number 21 if you stand in front of a convex mirror at the same distance from its focal length, so again we stay, stand at the focal length, so here you won't see your image because there is none. Next, for number 22, if you stand in front of a concave mirror exactly at its center of curvature. So for number 22, let me just pause and uh, let's try to look at the image for number 22. So here is the case of two. So when you stand exactly at the center of curvature, you're gonna be like uh, at C, inverted, same size, and real. And so the best answer here is, you will see your image at your same height. Okay, that would be for number 22. Next, how about number 23? If you stand in front of a concave mirror exactly at its focal point, so meaning to say we're gonna have it at a focal point, and for number 23, of course, when we stand at a focal point, there will be no image form. So the answer here is letter A. Next, for number 24, a light ray traveling obliquely to a concave mirror surface crosses the axis at the mirror's focal point before striking the mirror surface. After reflection, this ray, so for here, this is the principle number 2 for number 24, and that would going to be traveling to parallel to the mirror's axis. So remember a ray diagram, so this is the focal point, this is the radius of curvature, so if if this will be the object if of course that object will gonna pass through the focal point what will gonna happen if the light will gonna pass through the focal point 
it will be reflected back parallel to the principal axis. So that is number 24, letter A. Next, number 25. An object is placed at a concave mirror center of curvature. The image produced by the mirror is located by... So for this case, the object is placed at the concave mirror's center of curvature. The image produced by the mirror is, for number 25, just like the case number 2, so the image that will be produced is letter B at the center of curvature. Next, number 26. An object is positioned between a concave mirror's center of curvature and its focal point. The image produced by the mirror here is, now let's try to look at the case for number 26. So for this case, when you place the object between C and F, you're gonna be you're gonna be forming beyond C, inverted, but it is larger and the real image. So let's go back now with number twenty six. So for number twenty six, concave mirror center of curvature, its focal point. The answer for number twenty six is letter A, out beyond the center of curvature. Okay, this one is wrong. Uh, between this one is wrong and this one is wrong. Next, number twenty-seven. An object is situated between a concave mirror surface and its focal point. The image form in this case is. So this is for the case number five, wherein the object is between F and V, so that is always behind the mirror, upright, larger, and virtual. So the idea for number 27 is the object will going to be letter C, virtual, erect, and or upright. Next is solve for number 28. An object is 14 cm in front of a convex mirror. The image is 5.8 cm behind the mirror. What is the focal length of the mirror? So here for number uh an object is 14 cm, that would be the DO, distance of the object. Image is 5.7 behind the mirror. So the him image here is 5.78, that would be the DI. However, that is behind. And so that will gonna be a virtual image. And that is negative 5.8. And what is the focal length? So if we're going to compute now for the focal length, that is 1 over DO plus uh, 1 over DI, and that is 1 over F, 1 over 14 plus 1 over negative 5.8. And so therefore, we're going to have now uh, 1 over 14 minus 1 over 5.8 focal length now would become negative 9.9 .9 centimeter and so the answer here is negative 9.9 .9. the negative 9.9 .9, take note that use a convex mirror simply because that is a negative so the focal length is negative for the convex mirror next number 29 so an image is 4 cm behind a concave mirror with a focal length of 5 cm. So behind here, the, way, the word behind, that is a virtual. Where is the object located? So where is the object located? Now take note that for number 29, we have the focal length of 1 over 5. So by the way, 1 over F that is 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. So where is the object located? So meaning to say we here we have 1 over DO that is 1 over F minus 1 over DI. Now take note that a 4 centimeter behind it will gonna give you a di of negative 4 cm because that is behind right and so therefore let's have uh, 1 over 5 
minus 1 over negative 4 is equals to 1 over do and that is 1 over 5 plus 1 over 4 that is 1 over do and what is 1 fifth plus 1 fourth I think it's 20 let me just double check 9 over 20 it is 9 over 20 of course we're gonna get the reciprocal therefore do is 20 over 9 or uh, 20 divided by 9 that would be 2.22 and so that is 2.22 that is in front of the mirror let me just double check so that is 2.22 let's correct 2.2 in front of the mirror because that is the do next number 30 a single concave spherical mirror produces an image which is uh, concave so there are different cases for concave always virtual wrong always real wrong because if it is like in between f and v we could produce a virtual image real only if the object distance is less than f mm, can we say that that would be a virtual one the letter c it will be correct if it is a virtual but for letter D, real if the only ob if the object distance is greater than F, and so for number thirty, the answer would be letter D, dog. Next, number thirty one, a single convex spherical mirror produces an image which is convex is spherical mirror. Number thirty one that is letter A. Yes, always virtual. That is correct. Mm, it will not produce a real this one is now wrong because we're con we're talking about convex mirror and 31 would be letter a next number 32 a convex spherical mirror has a focal length of 20 take note convex focal length now here it will be represented by a negative 20 why because of the term convex spherical mirror so an object is placed 10 centimeter so this one is the distance of the object in front of the mirror's axis where is the image located so let's continue now so we're gonna have 1 over f is equals to 1 over do plus 1 over di so where is the image located that is 1 over f minus 1 over do that is 1 over di and so 1 over take note that would be negative 20 minus 1 over do that is 10 centimeter is equals to 1 over di so uh, let's press now in the calculator negative 1 over 20 and then minus 1 over 10 so the answer here is uh, 20 over 3, negative 20 over 3. Just double check. That is 20 divided by 3. Negative 6.7. So negative 6 that is the di so what does it mean it means di that is 6.67 virtual and so 6.7 that is behind the mirror so for 32 that would be letter c that is behind the mirror simply because it's virtual next number 33 what type of mirror is suitable for a grocery store to capture small images of customers and store area? That would be a 33. Of course, that would be letter B, a convex mirror. 
and what type of mirror is used by dentists to examine our teeth that is a dental mirror that would be letter C we're gonna have a concave mirror because it will gonna this one is a concave mirror it will gonna enlarge the the, the teeth where in the image is located within the focal point okay and take note that the term diverging mirror is an example of a convex mirror so by the way once you say it is a diverging one these are example of convex simply because the light rays are being diverged so if this will be the focal point so the light the the diverging okay so gonna come here and then it will gonna be reflected diverge next number uh, 35 two plane mirrors are incident uh, are inclined to each other as shown a ray of light is incident at an angle of 30 degree the ray after reflection falls in the second mirror and finally retraces its path. Calculate the angle between the mirrors. So automatically, if the ray retra uh, retraces its path, this one is 90. And so the angle here is also 30 degree. And so take note that this one will become uh, 60 degree. And so therefore, for number 35, 90, 60, this is a triangle. It will gonna form uh, 180 degrees. And therefore the theta now that is 30 degrees this letter a and let's go now with the last part convex mirror are diverging mirrors yes true plane mirrors always form a lateral invert lateral inverted image and virtual yes correct true Convex mirrors form at an image that is real and inverted. Number three, convex mirrors real. I think this one make it strong. That would be virtual and upright. So because we're using a convex mirror. When the body is placed at a radius of curvature, no image will be formed. Let's place here with the focal point or at F so this one is false an object is an object placed between focal point and vertex in concave mirror will form a real image no it will rather form a virtual image a normal line is always perpendicular to the surface reflection on smooth and shiny surface are called that that is not a diffuse reflection but rather a regular reflection refraction is the spreading out of waves when they pass through a gap or around the edge of an obstacle this one is diffraction When a light enters into a boundary with different density, it will exhibit a refraction. That's one. Like this one is true. And number ten, two crests for uh, from a different wave in same media will create instead of destructive, it will create a constructive interference. And that's it.